Hey VC, Gary's Vinyl Dungeon here. Part two of recent finds. Um, I had to stop on the last one and uh, go up and get the bird. She was up there freaking out. I'm sure you heard it in the first video, but uh, she does not like to be left alone. Just a quick note. Um, I went to my granddaughter's uh, graduation from high school um, last week. I think it was Wednesday. And um, she, uh, so proud of her, man. She's so smart. She got all A's all year long. I mean, almost through all of high school. Um, she's just super smart and uh, really a sweet girl. She was on the honor roll and she was on some other um, awards thing where she, uh, she had the most, uh, third most community hours volunteer hours in the community um in the whole in the whole school now they make them get so many hours but uh she had the third highest and uh just so proud of her man she's just a sweet girl uh she's heading to um liberal arts college down in uh tampa in uh, august first week of august uh, her mother and father are taking her down it's hard to believe I used to go pick her up at, uh, I was already retired, I used to pick her up at, uh, at preschool and bring her home because she only went a half a day with me because I was retired. I picked her up and her, her mother worked, so it was pretty far away. I lived in Gettysburg. It was probably almost an hour's ride each way to go get her, but, uh, you know, that's what you do for family. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just real proud. It's hard to believe, uh. She's that old already, man. It just zipped by. We, I got her a car um, when she got her license. And uh, she came over the other day. And I said, uh, when's the last time you checked the oil? Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't really check it. I just get the oil changed every once in a while. So I go out and she's a quart and a half low. <laughs> and the car's got 249000 on it. It was a Honda Accord. And uh, so, oh, come on, crap. So I had to, um... I had to go get a, go up and get some oil because I didn't have that weight that she had in her car. I used synthetic, so I, I didn't want to put synthetic in there. I knew she didn't put synthetic. But uh, anyway, let's get on to the recent finds. That's just another another little story. Uh, okay, here. Uh, I got this from uh, the uh, eBay, the place that I always get them from. But uh, Metallica, Death Magnet. I just want to, I, some of these, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even listened to. I don't think I've listened to this one. Matter of fact, I know I didn't, because it's, I just, I, I've been so busy. But I did listen to this one, and uh, I tell you, I just started getting into Alice Cooper. Um, I, the last album, three albums I bought have been all been really good. This is a music on vinyl, 180 gram audio file pressing. It's uh, Alice Cooper trash. And uh, man, another good album. Uh, I always want to look out for Alice Cooper albums. Now. I, I just never uh, bought his albums. And uh, I really enjoy them. Next one, everybody knows this one, Nirvana Bleach. Good album. What? You can't get down. You'll tear the place up. Right? I brought you down here to shut up. What do you want? You want a drink? Here, you want a drink? She drink Izzy drinks my iced tea. You want no? Nah, that ain't what you want. I put her down here, but man, she would she gets right into something, man tear the place apart. She's got a beak that can snap those big Brazil nuts it's like they're a piece of paper. It's something I gotta use a hammer on. Okay, next one. Got off track. The Zombies. Odyssey and Oracle. Everybody knows this album. Good album. Next one. Uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 
I think this is a, this is a live album. I did listen to this. I think I listened to one of them. It's got uh, it's a three album set. But it's uh, it's pretty good. ELP, I like them. Come on, crack. Will you be quiet? You're gonna go back up on your perch. Next one, Chinese Eyes, Pete Townsend. Sorry for rushing through these, but I just, I have limited time anymore. I got a million things to do today. I wanted to try to get another one. Just started buying Zappa. Never bought Zappa albums. I seen these two and they were cheap, so I picked them up. Um, this is Joe's Garage, Zappa. And I haven't even listened to this yet, I'll be totally honest with you. Having, like I said, too busy. It's pretty bad you're too busy to listen to music. <laughs> uh, another one, uh, it's called Chunga's Reven Revenge. Crack, what are you doing? Yeah, you want to just get into something. No. Come on, cut it out. Sorry about this. That hurt, man. It's like having a kid. This is a record store day release. Uh, I picked up... Uh, I think I bought this one. LP Reverb. I don't know if anybody buys any stuff off here, but it's brand new. Came out. It was a uh, place out in California, sent it. Um, it's the first time on vinyl. It's the 25th anniversary. So it's collective soul. Hey, you can't be tearing stuff up now. Red album. Of course, everybody knows this. Record store day. Next album, ZZ Top's greatest hits. Tonight at Midnight. It's a live album. Um, it's amazing that they can sound so good with just three people live. Um, it's got a you know, good sound, good quality sound to them. It's got all their good hits. Got Me Under Pressure, Beer Drinkers and Hell Razors, Cheap Sunglasses, Wait for a Bus, Jesus Just Left Chicago, Sharp Dressed Man, LaGrange, Tube Steak Boogie, Give me all your love and tush, 16 tons. And that features Jeff Beck in it. But uh, good album. I did listen to that one. Crackers, come here, hon. Come on, get up on my hand. Come on. You get down and then you just get into trouble. If it ain't the bird, it's the cats or the dogs. Another, my dog's sitting here bothering me. Uh, let's see, Queen's right, Operation Mind Crime. I just started picking up Queen's right albums too. I always look for something new to listen to. You know, you, I had my standard uh, bands that I always bought, and then now I'm kind of almost got all the collections, and I started buying stuff that I normally don't pick up. It says it's a limited edition, 180 gram from Capitals Vault. I did listen to this one. This is a mini LP, Iron Maiden. It's a Maiden Japan, it's called. But uh, it was 20 bucks, but uh, not bad. I already listened to it, I liked it. Okay, here's another. I got three, four, I got it. five. I know I had at least four, but I bought five. Uh, Crocus albums. I like Crocus. I started buying their albums and I really like them. Um, this one's called Metal Rendezvous. Or Rendezvous. Yeah, Rendezvous. I guess that's Rendezvous. But, uh, Areola Records. Haven't had a chance to listen to any of these. So Here's another Crocus Alive and Screaming. Pretty cool cover. This is a Marista. Like I said, I was going to wait to do these after I've listened to them. 
but my schedule for the whole summer is, is kind of wacko, so I need to just get them done. Uh, Crocus Hardware get, get sidetracked. Always distractions, and my brain can't deal with distractions. It's hard to keep track of everything. Next one, pay it in metal, Crocus. Always a glare. So only got the one window down here, so I always got to have lights on. And it uh, always has a glare because of the lights. I see. Another one called Heart Attack Crocus. This is on MCA Records. <laughs> so that's three different labels, three different records. But uh, I imagine they're different releases. Next one. Ever since Eric had his contest about movies, I've been picking up soundtracks. It's all your fault, Eric. But uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I like those kind of movies, and I, I did watch that movie. But the uh, three sides are songs, and then the last side B of the second album is scores, for, you know, music from the... But it, it's actually pretty good. It's got, you know... Mr. Blue Sky, Electric Light Orchestra, Fox on the Run by Sweet, um, The Chain, Fleetwood Mac, Bringing On Home to Me, Sam Cooke, uh, Southern Knights, Glenn Campbell, My Sweet Lord, G George Harrison, Brandy, Looking Glass, um, Come a Little Bit Closer, J and the Americans, which is a good song, Wham Bam, Shang Lang by Silver, Surrender, Cheap Trick, Father and Son, Cat Stevens, um, Flashlight, Parliament, and Guardians Inferno by the Sneepers, whatever that is. But, uh, comes out of Marvel Studios. Next one I've been wanting to get, I've seen so many people show this album, and I remember the album out when it was out. Um, I like Marvin Gaye, okay, and I just, I'm just slow on getting things on vinyl. Um, what's going on, Marvin Gaye? Nothing to be said about this that everybody uh, knows this album that they all everybody has it another album I, I picked this up and this up in my local Walmart and they were pretty reasonable this is a portrait of a legend Sam Cooke 51 to 64 um, it's good listening it really is um, I need to get into dive into Sam Cooke a little bit more because uh, I enjoyed the listen okay uh, Jefferson Airplane takes off. RCA Victor, twenty six bucks, and it's in really excellent condition. The cover's a little not. When I say excellent, I meant the vinyl. The cover's uh, a little worse for wear, but it's not bad. It's doable. I play the vinyl, don't play the cover, as everybody says. Steve Miller Band, Italian X-rays. There's the parrot. That's what she was screaming, and he twice as loud upstairs okay this is uh steve moore band like i said um i'm trying to see the label here capital it's a weird capital though. next one little humble pie greatest hits this is on attic label 20 bucks i paid for that it was sealed that's right so it's excellent condition, it's sealed. I bought quite a few from that place, and they were sealed. Um, next one, Judas Priest, Hero Hero, on RCA. Um, I don't know, this one, this one wasn't sealed. I, I, I'm sure some of the ones I just showed you were sealed, because um, it was a bunch sealed. I think there was like five of them total. But, uh, Gotta like Jesus Priest. Well, that's it. Oh, actually, yeah. I just realized I got some more over here. I just wanna get caught up because like I said, I got 16 more coming. Uh, Greta Van Fleet, Black Smoke Rising. This is their EP they came out with. And they came out with an album and it had all these songs plus more, if anybody knows anything about um 
And I looked online, and uh, when I was entering these in my Discogs, I went to uh, Wikipedia, and it says they're coming out with a new album in 2019. They're in this, uh, writing the album now and recording it. So I can't wait, because I really, I really like uh, Greta Van Fleet. Like I said, some people don't really like them because they said they sound too much like Led Zeppelin, but that's not a bad thing as far as I'm concerned. To sound like Led Zeppelin? Come on. Okay, um, Strawberry Alarm Clock, The World in a Seashell. This is, uh, I know this was in this, might have been 69 or 70, I think, this album came out. I don't remember when it came out because I went and seen uh, Strawberry Alarm, Alarm Clock live down at the Baltimore Civic Center. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, anyway. Good album. It's real mellow. Real, I don't know. Just a mellow. Now, these two here are black box records. Um, I used to see Saxon out at the record stores, and I never did pick them up. Um, it kind of pricey, and I, uh, and I never really listened to them much. So I was uh, a little hesitant on buying them. I, you know. I always kept forgetting to go online and listen to any of their stuff. Um, but uh, these are the, my two uh, black box records. Um, this is a picture disc by Saxon. And this is Into the Labyrinth. Let me get it out. It, since it is a picture disc, this thing's hard to get flat here. It's kind of cool, but... Uh, Actually, it doesn't sound bad either. So, you know, that's one of the reasons I don't like to buy picture disc. I bought uh, Green Day um, album picture disc, and it it's noisy, but uh, it's kind of a cool record, and it sounds it sounds real good. So, I was pleased with that. They always seem to. Uh, so far, I've been a member for three months, and they've always been right on as far as what what I like. And the second month, they sent me an album that I had just purchased. Matter of fact, I had bought it after they black box had shipped. They're out of Chicago, and I bought I bought um, Judas Priest album. And uh, when I opened the black box, it was uh, the same album I just bought, but it wasn't their fault because it wasn't uh, posted into my discogs yet. And the next one, this is a. Um, this is third man record um, release. Now I'm a I'm a big fan of this group. I have about nine or ten of their albums um, on vinyl, <clears throat> a couple on um, CD. But it's Drive By Truckers, <laughs> and uh, this is a really good album. Um, sounds good. It's it's kind of a live performance. Uh, it's recorded in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, it's a good album. Yeah, I just I, I like their the rawness of them. They're um, you know they're not the best musician musicians and singers. I mean the guys you know voice in the best, but I like that I like that rawness. Kind of like Dylan, you know. Um, but uh, I was really happy to get that. Uh, this next album I've had this here for probably a couple months, and I never showed it. But uh, there's the Judas Priest album that they had sent me that I just bought. Now that I'm thinking of it, it's, uh, had it out playing it. It's Sad Wings of Destiny. But that, this was a black box um, record, and I had already ordered it. So I liked it because I ordered it, but uh, you know how it is. I could have sent it back, I guess, but I'm going to try to give it out as a uh, BCLT. Uh, Eric. Uh, you're the one I was going to send that to. Um, I put a message in your last video to, uh, if you didn't have that album, to uh, shoot me your uh, address. I posted my email address. So you can uh, put your address in there, and I got a couple other things I want to send you. Um, okay, and this album here, it, it was recorded from a radio station. For charity, all the proceeds were going to a charity. Um, it's called 
an album of WKLO 1080. Um, it's called Solid Gold. And I think I looked this up on Discogs and it wasn't in there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it was put out and all the money was going to go to the Children's Hospital um, in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, but uh, it's a double album. It was like brand new, like nobody played it. As a matter of fact, I think this was one that was sealed. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this was a sealed one. Which makes sense. Um, probably left over from the uh, from promotion they had on the radio station. But it's got um, Angel of the Morning, Merrily Rush, Anyone Who Had a Heart, Diane Warwick, Born Free, Andy Williams. Born, it's a big variety here. <laughs> Born to be Wild, Step em Off, Chewy Chewy, Ohio Express, if you guys remember them. Uh, Choice of Colors, The Impressions, Dizzy, Tommy Bro. And it was real cheap. I think I picked it up for a couple bucks. But uh, Glory Road, Neil Diamond, uh, Going Up the Country, Can Heat, the good one. Green Tambourine, The Lemon Pipers. That's an oldie but moldy. Hang On, Sloopy, Butter McCoys, Honey, Bobby Goldsboro, House of the Rising Sun, The Animals, Incense Peppermints, Strawberry Alarm Clock. Uh, so the other album side is uh, in the year 2525, Zager and Evans, everybody knows that song. It's a Man's World, James Brown, Last Kiss, J. Frank Wilson, The Letter, Box Tops, Light My Fire from Jose Feliciana, Louie Louie by The Kingsman, everybody knows that song from the 60s, One Three Dog Night. Prisoner of Love, James Brown, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, B.J. Thomas, Traces by Classic Four, <laughs> Crackers, you're a mess, Try a Little Tenderness, Three Dog Night, I like that song, I had that on, it's on the uh, live album, uh, Unicorn, Irish Rovers, Walk Don't Run, Adventures, which is a cool sound, that's a cool uh, instrumental, Wichita Lyman, Glenn Campbell, and the last one, Yummy, 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 Ohio Express. <laughs> uh, I can remember when that bubblegum music was out, man. It's kind of, kind of humorous. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's really got some good songs on it. And uh, like I said, I think I only paid a couple bucks for it, and it was sealed. Crack, you got a mind of your own, don't you? Come on. Yeah, you're bad. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. You gotta say hi. You're on a video. You gotta say hi. Hi. Hi, crackers. Er, say hi. Or hello. You like to say hello all the time. Every time you see people, you say hello. Come here. Say hello. Say hello. Say Bella. Can you say Bella? Just like kids, man. They won't perform when you got them on camera. She'll talk when you don't want her to talk. You'll be on the phone. She'll be in there talking her ass off. I always keep her. You got the cages in the sunroom, and then I'm in the family room, and the uh, you, you got to have her in the direct, direct line of sight. She's got to see me. If she doesn't, she screams constant. She's like, ah, ah, ah. you don't do that. No, no, no. You're biting hard, and that don't, don't cut it. Okay, uh, that's all I got. And uh, Eric, um, shoot me an email. To let me know if uh, if you have that album, the Judas Priest, Sad Wings of Destiny. I was going to ship it on out to you. I know you uh, like metal. <clears throat> I've seen you show metal. But, uh, yeah, there's no use me having two copies of a brand new record. Doesn't make sense. Uh, and I don't mind sending BCLT out. I want—I got some, actually some BLC, BCLT I want to send out to a few more people. Um, but, uh, like I said, it's going to have to wait just for a little bit until I get that kitchen done. I got, um... I was, I'm doing the, uh, <clears throat> the tile work myself, 
and I'm painting on my cabinets. My wife wanted white cabinets. And the tile work, the amount of money they wanted to do that is just ridiculous. I mean, I had the material for the whole kitchen for subway tile, they're cheap, and that's what my wife likes. She likes that white subway tile. The material for everything, ground, the mask they put on down to keep it stuck to the wall. All the trim is 225 bucks, and they want like over a thousand bucks to do something like that. It doesn't make sense. And if you can't do that in a day, it's you know 12 foot of counter and another six foot. Of, it's an L-shaped kitchen. You know, it's just some of the prices they charge you for doing things. The um, hardwood floors were almost ten grand. Uh, you know, it's when you see how much you bought it for the wood. And then what they charge you, and then there's two corners on them that, that are cracked that I got to get them out here. We'll see how good they are for honoring the product. They said it's guaranteed a year. But uh, say hi. Say hi. Crack, say hi. No, you're just going to be a little bitch. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Uh, this is part two of the recent finds. Um, I'm all caught up with new records. Um, I do have some uh, some things I wanted to show you. Where am I at? I'm at 26 minutes. Um, yeah, I can probably do that real quick. Some things I've purchased recently from my club room. But uh, these speakers right here. See if I can see them. I didn't buy these. I've had these a long time. There's right there. There was their Vandersteins. I had them up in my family room, and my wife asked me to get them out of there because the cats have used them for a scratch pad. And I went to get look at the socks to put them over there. They're like a sock that goes over the speaker. And they won 200 bucks for two socks. But Vandersteen, I don't know if anybody knows anything about Vandersteen speakers, but they are excellent sound speakers, man. Excellent can't say enough good about them they're just really nice speakers and uh there's another uh let me see i'm trying to do this backwards here but there's a uh david gilmore frame picture i bought it's pretty cool looking it's hard to get that in there there we go maybe back up might be easier get my finger out of the camera lens but uh yeah that's a new addition i bought and of course there's my acdc i'm I got all their albums. I guess you can see that. And, of course, Crackers is up on my damn shoulder again where she tries to live. And another one I got is... Damn, this is hard. Okay, Tom Petty poster. Um, I got that off of uh, Amazon. It was on sale, so I picked it up. But it's pretty cool looking. First one came broke, the frame, which is always sweet. And one thing about Amazon, they're good to take things back with. And another thing I wanted to show you, when I did the my basement and uh, showed you my equipment, I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, my preamp is a Parasound, which is right here. But uh, it's that's two of the biggest things when you're playing vinyl is to get a good um a preamp um get a good one this is a pair of sound it's really great spin it just you wouldn't believe the difference it makes in playing your vinyl and uh the next thing is a needle you know those two things really are like the heart of your vinyl playing the needle and the and the preamp um you know, if you got a uh, if you got a, a stereo, and when you put phono on, you have to turn your volume up to equal like the CD and all that. It's got a weak uh, preamp in it, and you, if you get one, I think they actually improve the sound too. They're not just they don't just boost up the um, the volume. They they do um, improve the sound, it gives it more of a. I actually have a tube one upstairs for the system in my family room. Um, I got a um, debut carbon with a Warfine Blue, and I got a uh, tube amp on that one, and uh, really does, man, it sounds great. It sounds warm, 
Come here. Now, you're... She is like being a real turd today. She don't want to sit still anywhere. Now she's screaming. She wants to get on a chair. She'll try to tear that up. Anyway, guys. I've babbled enough. And, uh... Hope everybody has a great Sunday. Oh. I don't know what the heck she just knocked over. What are you doing? You better not do that. I got an AC, DC, big uh, cloth flag, and she's over there messing with that. So I gotta go. <laughs> I got my little kid there that I gotta take care of. Okay, guys, take care, man. Let me get my little remote here.